Hi, I am Dr. Mashur. Welcome to my class. Today, I would like to discuss structure of RNA. Let's see RNA. RNA or ribonucleic acids are long thread-like polymer of monomers called nucleotides. And this RNA is mainly found in nucleolus, nasal granules, cytoplasm, cytoplasm and mitochondria. RNA is a single stranded helical molecule and is having a 5 dash phosphate group and 3 dash hydroxyl group. And in RNA, these nucleotides are connected by 5 dash and 3 dash phosphate diacyl bond. And this RNA having a role in decoding, coding, and regulation and expression of genes. We told that. Uh, this RNA or ribonucleic acids are made up with monomers called nucleotides or ribonucleotides. And this nucleotide ha mainly having three components. First one it having a nitrogenous base and second one it having a pentose sugar and third one it have a phosphate residue. First we can see the nitrogenous base present in the RNA. There is two group of nitrogenous base present in the RNA. That is purines and pyrimidines. In the case of purine, there is two bases there. One is adenine and other one is guanine. In the case of pyrimidine, there is cytosine and uracil is there. This is the nitrogenous person, base person in the RNA. And next is the pentose sugar person in the RNA. The pentose sugar person in the RNA that is D ribose. But in the case of our DNA, that is deox 2 deoxyribose because the second position hydroxyl group is removed in the case of uh, DNA pentose sugar, that's why it's, it's called deoxyribose. But in the case of RNA, that's uh, second position hydroxyl group is not removed, that by, that's why it's called 2D ribose. This is a pentose sugar present in the RNA. Now let's see structure of RNA. RNA having mainly three structures, one is primary structure, secondary structure and tertiary structure. In primary structure, the ribonucleides are arranged in, in a chain that is known as primary structure. In this figure, uh, you can see the primary structure, the ribonucleides are arranged in a chain that is a primary structure. And in secondary structure, the RNA chain will fold back and the columnar strands will bind and form a double helical structure. In secondary structure of RNA, the RNA will adopt one of various stem lobe structure in which the non complementary or intermediate sequences are looped out from the double helical structure and form hairpin or bulge or symbol lobe. In this figure, you can see the double hel uh, in the secondary structure of RNA, there is a complementary stance uh, bind and form a double helical structure, and here you can see. Uh, the different uh, loop out from the double helical structure of DNA hairpin loop hairpin is the and uh, a bulge or symbol loop also is the so you can see in this figure this is a secondary structure of RNA now we can see the tertiary structure of RNA in tertiary structure of RNA these ribonucleotides are arranged in three dimensional form and this tertiary structure of RNA includes double helical structure, hairpin loop is the stem loop will be there, and bulge will be there, and symbol loop will be there. And it also contains triple standard structure. And this RNA is adopt this three dimensional structure for the specific roles in the cells. The RNA molecule with tertiary structure involved in various cellular processes, including uh, protein synthesis and RNA splicing. In this figure you can see the tertiary structure of RNA. Here there you can see the double helical uh, part of the DNA is the and triple helical part is the, uh, triple standard part is the and you can see different loops and uh, bulges the that is present in the tertiary structure of RNA. This is the structure of RNA. I hope you understood this class. 
Thank you. Thank you for the listening.